So we're back at the tab menu screen and we're going to download the application and we're going to see what it looks like. So in the applications um, menu for the app we're working on, we can go to download source code and like I showed before, you can package it and it will download to your designated address. I'm going to save mine to the desktop. I like to work from the desktop with um, with BuzzTouch and with application development because I can clearly see what I'm what I'm working on and then I can just easily replace it. Now that'll download. As you can see it's finished and there it is right there. And it's a zip file and I double it double click it and open it up. And I'll double click it again. And here it is. Now in order to run this application you need to have the Mac app Xcode installed on your Mac or you need to have the um, PC app Eclipse. And this is Xcode and you can get that for, for free and it enables you to run or open iOS apps and Mac apps and so on. So I'm going to go back to that folder and read the instructions here because it's quite important. It's something that um, we have to do before or after we run this, um, this project folder. I'll run the project. <coughs> it opens Xcode and it's ready and raring to go. I'll just move that to the side. Now, inside of the instructions here, it tells us that we need to copy the, these five folders into Xcode. The BT plugins, BT images, BT docs, BT video, and BT sound. So what they mean by that is grabbing those folders from outside of, or inside of the folder, and dragging them into Xcode. So one of them was BT plugins. I'll drag that, place it there. And you need to make sure that create groups for any added folders is added, and you press finish. BT sound also needs to get dragged in. Same process again. BT video, click that, drag it in. We need to put in BT um, docs, and press finish. I'm pretty sure the last one is. Plugins, images, docs, video, and sound. Plugins, video, docs, uh, images. I haven't placed that one in yet. And where is it? Right there. BT images. Drag. Oh, cancel that. I dropped it in the wrong spot. You need to make sure that you drop it on top of the project so that it goes blue and then you'll see that option. So there are the folders added to the Xcode um, program and now we're in the position where we can actually run and see what we built in that first video. So at the top here you'll see you've got a couple of simulators. Um, we're going to run the iPhone simulator. We go to product and we press run. Now this will launch the simulator um, nice and quick, which will appear in a second. And you can see there is the application. We've, um, we've got our tab bars at the bottom. We have our different menu screens. That button at the top here is a refresh. It enables um, the current content from the server to be downloaded. So if I clicked on welcome, you remember we placed in that text. Um, really small because I didn't really um, make it large with a different font size and so on. You can see that we've got our menu um, that will download the document, um, but it won't do that here within the simulator. And you can see here that the, sh the share option and share this app, we remember we had added the text, share via text. That's not supported in the sim, but it's at least you can see how it's layered out. And then contact, you email us, and there it is. So pretty 
pretty um, easily we can actually get a pretty good feel for what our app um, looks like. I'm going to show you one thing quickly. I'm going to go back into BuzzTouch. <clears throat> I'm going to make a few changes and see how it's dynamic. So if I go back to my Pizza Palace application and I go into, uh, let's say, Global Themes, this will give me the chance to change the colorings and the stylings of that particular app. So I'll click on the default theme, which is currently active. And for example, the navigation bar and the status bar, um, they are the bars that appear at the top and the bottom. So this is the bottom toolbar, and at the top here is the navigation bar, and this one right at the top here is the status bar. And you can turn those on or off depending on what you desire. Uh, for example, we might hide the status bar for this particular instance, and we'll make the navigation bar translucent, and we'll make the bottom bar translucent. And we'll press save, and you can see it's saved. We go back, close the app, go back into it. It's going to say the app's content has been changed. Would you like to refresh? And we say yes. And you can see we've made a few changes there. Um, not to say that I really like what we've just done. We made it look a little bit different. So let's change them back. Solid, we will make that solid black, and we'll make that solid black and we'll hit save and rather than going back out of the app we can just simply hit the refresh button and there we are back to how we work. It would make a lot more sense to have that navigation bar um, black pretty sure that's one of the options that we can select with translucent press save and press no solid navigation back color. Let's press black for our navigation bar and then hit refresh and there you are. So we've, we've managed to change the colorings of our application uh, to make it a little bit more um, customized and we could certainly play around with it to do whatever we like. like we could change the, the coloring of the tab bar to suit the stylings of the particular company that we were building for. So let's just change it to um, green I think I selected you can copy that hexadecimal code and if you know your hexadecimal codes you can paste those in and then you can press save now let's see what this looks like Wow! so you get the idea of how we can certainly um, start to begin to customize what we're looking at I'm not quite sure why that tab bar down the bottom didn't change but um, a little bit of playing around and you could probably let's see if that does it I don't mind the green, I think we might continue to use that. So there is um, a little bit of the customization that's possible. You can change the background color. So at the moment it's it's set to FFF, which is black, I'm pretty sure. And we can change that to whatever we like. Um, and we can change our screen background image. So if you had a, a nice um, custom image that you wanted to use, you could certainly place it in these image fields and you could um, make that a part of your theme. So we'll go back to our Palace, um, Pizza Palace core menu and we can actually start to build on the content that um, is inside of our application quite easily um, by going back to the screens and as I said, I like to list view because I think it makes a lot more sense to see things like that. You can see exactly what type of uh, activity and menu they are. So from here, we know that in the, the menu section, we might want to add, or sorry, in the contact section, we have a, an email option at the moment, email us. But it makes sense that you can probably contact it in a variety of other ways. So let's, um, let's add one called phone us. And we're going to call the screen phone us because we haven't created that yet. And it's going to be a where is it? A call us action. And then we hit add, and that has been added. Now, if we press the phone us icon, we can put in our number, whatever that number is, and then press save. There it is. We can then if we like, not that it would make any sense, we can add some other features here and change um, change the nickname of that particular app. 
But if we go back into the simulator and we press refresh, it's now appeared for us. So clicking on phone us would place a call. One thing you can certainly do is you can change the entire uh, look of the application. So rather than using um, you know, four, four tabs in the bottom, we're going to add a fifth in. And if we would do that by going back to our layout and going tab layout. And down the bottom here, we're going to add location. And we have to create a screen first. So we better do that. Create a location screen and it's going to be a menu simple as well simple list menu to keep in styling of the app is important now when we go back to themes not layout we'll be able to add in that last tab we can probably select an icon got one here somewhere oh, better just actually find it first it is in my location marker open upload and where is it there it is select pressing save has saved all five tabs. Going back into the sim and pressing refresh has now added that fifth tab. So you can dynamically change even the whole entire stylings if you like. And if you did want, you could, in fact, go back here and um, delete these and say that your home screen nickname is now home screen menu and um, go back to a non tab layout just as effectively as you would um, adding content. So there's Buzz Touch and how it can be dynamically added. The good thing about this is it doesn't just, you don't just have to test it on a SIM. Um, you can set it up so that people can use their own mobile devices to, to um, test the content. So they can actually see what they're doing on their device and build their app while they're actually working on it. So in the next video, we'll look at how you do that. Um, and then we can dive a little bit deeper into some of the more sophisticated um, aspects of Buzz Touch and some of the other features that you can incorporate.